What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And if anyone this is your first time on the channel, welcome. Hope you enjoy what uh, we have to offer here on the Fire Mountain. So anyways, back here on the dock, trying to do some more fishing today. My plan is, is to catch some halibut and cook it up for dinner tonight. So I had some luck. I was out here a couple, about a week ago, and I was actually getting little halibut off the bottom of the off the, off the bottom of the dock here. So they're probably about this size. I I tried filming, and of course I brought a full memory card in my camera, so I was able to film a little clip on my phone and get a couple pictures. But yeah, so I got memory on the card today. Got the GoPro and. So I'm gonna try to get some halibut. So the new method I'm working on here now is I'm taking some herring from the last time I was out here, just getting little chunks of it, putting it on a hook and some weight, casting it out, and just letting it sit on the bottom. And I'm, I'm getting hits. I'm either, so far I've either pulled up some real big ugly sculpins or some halibut and maybe flounder is what I think I'm getting too. They're all around the same size, so they're nice and decently small. But, um, yeah, we had uh, James chime in on the comments on our two videos ago, and he suggested throwing herring down on the bottom, and it works. So I'll say thank you, James, for the helpful tip. If anybody else has any tips or comments, be sure, feel free to leave them in the comment section because we can't appreciate comments anymore. Any help, helping tips you guys got, throw them at us. We'll take it all. We'll use all the help we can get. <laughs> So anyways, I'm going to get uh, set up here and get the rod in the water. Also, I'm going to have my hunt talk radio going on in my headphone here. I figured out, and this is a new fishing, is a good time to listen to podcasts because I'm a big podcast nut. Love listening to podcasts. Obviously, hunting related podcasts are my favorite. So I got the hunt talk going on right now with Randy. And if you guys are interested, I guess, even if you're not interested, I'm going to show you anyways but so I'll show you guys because I want to know if you guys have any uh, good podcast uh, suggestions because I'm always looking for more and I guess I'll just show you the podcasts I listen to currently or that I have saved that I usually listen to so that way you can uh, show us if you got anything else yeah so we got Eastman's epic Chad and JT, these guys are just hilarious. Not hunting related, but they're just super funny. So I listen to them every now and then. We've got the Gritty, um, Hunt Harvest Health, Hunt Talk Radio, Jay Scott, Cameron Haynes, and we got Kafaru Cast, Legion Out, Legion OST. These get this one I just kind of stumbled upon, and I'm a real big fan. I've been starting to listen to quite a few of them because they're um, California based. So he's got a lot of California hunters on there, and it's kind of cool to uh, be able to hear. People hunting out of California and getting tips from them. Meat Eater, Knock On. I just found this one. I haven't actually got a chance to listen to it yet, but I heard that they're talking about some Alaska, Southeast Alaska stuff, so I wanted to check them out. Got some waterfowl on there. Then we got the Hunting Collective with Ben O'Brien. He's got some great guests on there. Rogan and Rich Outdoors and Hunt Back Country. So if you got anything other than these shows, let me know. Uh, let me know what you guys listen to, because I'd love to check them out. I'm always looking to learn new stuff and listen to new guys. So, yeah, thanks. Hey, you uh, not yet. I'm using herring for bait. Uh, yeah. Is it the time to do it? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it got me a little bit of something here. Hopefully not a sculpin. Those things are annoying. Spoke too soon. Got ourselves a sculpin. Or some type of bullhead sculpin thing. I don't know. Has anyone got an ID on this for me? Got me something. Hopefully not another sculpin. Stealing all my bait. Whatever it is, it's a little. Uh, I think it's another. Oh no, got us one. This is one of the smallest. Oh, nice. This is a nice one. Ta da! I'm just gonna keep it. I'm not gonna get picky. 
There we got it, folks. Got our first one. Now, this is the real the next question is, does anyone have an ID on these things? Is this a flounder or a halibut? I don't know. To me it looks like it's just a little mini a little mini uh halibut, but yeah, let me know. I th you can get two of these a day, no size limit. So I'm just gonna try to get one more and then um, see what we can get, what we can have for dinner with this thing. Gotten some nibbles right now. See if I can get something here. Oh, oh, we got one taking it. We already got a bite. Let's see what we get. This one's got a good little fight to him. This is literally, I literally just cast it in after I just caught that other one. This is probably like less than three minutes. Oh, this one's got a good bite going on. And there we go. This is a nice size one too. Oh, he got away. He got away from me. Damn. That was a nice size one too. Oh, try again. That was quick. Got some more bites going on down there. I think I tried to set the hook too hard though. I pulled it a lot farther than I wanted to. So I'm still getting hits. Uh, let's see, uh, I think I, yeah, I got something. Come on, halibut, let's go. Oh, he's got a little more fight than I thought he would. Oh, yeah, I got another one. I got another one. This is risky, but I'm going to try to get it on a better camera for you guys. Alright, we're going to get this one in. We're going to get this one in. There she is. There she is, folks. Got the second one. The last one I had was a little bigger, but hey, we'll take this all day. We'll take this all day. There it is. I got my two. I did that probably in less than an hour and a half, I would think. That was not bad, which is pretty good because I'm going to get these homes, clean them out, and then probably run out to the store again and try to get some ingredients for a little dinner. For some fresh halibut tonight and uh yeah good thing i got it done early though because it's sunday and everything closes really early today so yeah i finally am getting the hang of this whole fishing thing down here took me way longer than it should have but i'm finally catching fish now so we're getting somewhere Not many boats here today in the harbor. They must all be out on the weekend. But uh, yeah, ended up being a beautiful day. Sun came out and I got those two halibut. I think they're halibut, unless you guys think they're flounder. So let me know, that'd be pretty cool. You can let me know what I got there. But um, yeah, see if we can get those things cooked up tonight. Well, just got back from the grocery store, got my ingredients for the halibut I'll be having tonight. Decided to go with halibut tacos. So, pretty simple, just some, I don't know, seasoning. I got some seasoning, cabbage, cilantro, a few other things maybe, I don't even remember. I saved you guys the hurtful long process of me trying to fillet those halibut, so. Never flayed halibut before, and I didn't even have a fillet knife, so I used a big old buck knife that I have. I'll get out of focus. And it just took a long time. It, it came out good. The fillets came out good. Just it took a long time, and I mean, I'm gonna save you guys all that. And we're just gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna start up um, prepping these tacos here in a second. Then I guess you'll see 
what I come up with and so yeah our boy Alex Parati he's the one who can cook but unfortunately he is not here to cook these for me so I'm gonna do it myself and give it my best effort so yeah we're gonna jump right into that here in a little bit and um and we'll see what I end up with do a little catch and cook video for you guys all right start off here we're just gonna start with cabbage some purple cabbage and some cilantro and get that chopped up and move on there we go got that chopped up now I'm gonna do like a some type of sauce to put on this these tacos so. okay for this sauce here I looked all this up online obviously I'm not that creative and I'm like I said I'm not a very good cook so I'm just going off of what I I'm reading online so for the sauce it's kind of like a sour cream sauce with some flavoring and I'm just gonna go right ahead and stick it in this Tupperware just because I'll probably make too much of it and it'll already be in a Tupperware for saving for later. That's probably well enough. And then it wants me to add two to three tablespoon or teaspoons, I don't know, if, of milk for thin, to thin it out. So I'm just gonna really guesstimate here and just kind of do a spoon as a bunch of sour cream. So we'll just do a little extra. And then it wants us to do half a lime. Let's say that's all about the lime juice that'll come out of that guy. And then it says one to two tablespoons of hot sauce of choice. And I just already had this in the refrigerator, of sriracha. So we're just gonna do a little sriracha. Probably just two of those should be be good enough. And then, I'm just try to mix it up a little bit. And then, and as well as a little bit of taco seasoning. So I'll just do the taco seasoning I picked up from the store. And that should be plenty. And then, I'm just gonna mix it up. Pretty good actually. Alrighty, so there it is. That'll be a nice little sauce to put over the tacos. So now I guess I just need to season up the halibut with just some more taco seasoning and then fry it up and then yeah. Put it on tortillas with the toppings and stuff and that's how you do it. That's how you catch food in the morning and you eat it for dinner here in Alaska. We'll see you at the next step. So here, I'm just seasoning up the halibut, like just like I had read online. Just following some online instructions. That's all I'm really doing here. <clears throat> there she is with just the taco seasoning, some pepper and salt. Pretty. Simple as a lot of salt right there. Got my pan back here. I did not. This is a lot like it should have probably. Let's, let's bump up the heat a little more. Now we have it. We got our halibut cooking. Now just gotta wait till it starts to flake apart and then we're good to go. And there we have it. Just patted down the um, halibut so it's not so gre as greasy. Maybe I did a little too much oil. I don't really know. Halibut, steamed up some tortillas. Cut the cabbage, some limes. I cut up some onions. Then there's some cilantro. And then our sauce. Let's see how they come out.
Bam. Well, there we have it. There it is. That's my first ever catch to cook, see to plate food video for you guys. So I'm feeling pretty accomplished. I mean, it went from catching halibut on the dock to what looks like something odd about a restaurant. So I'm happy with the way it came out, the way it looks. Now we got to give it a taste test. some lime on there. I love lime, so you can never have too much. These are a little loaded. This is, this is what I call loaded halibut taco. That's awesome. I'm super satisfied right now. Alright, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know and maybe I'll try to do some more. Maybe uh, either different halibut recipes or different other fish recipes. So, yeah, let me know if you liked it. But anyways, thanks for watching.